So now we're going to learn about the AMORDE GRC function because I do not know how to say that correctly. I'm going to give you the definition of this function, the syntax for it, and I shall show you one example on how to use it. So in Excel, this function returns the linear depreciation of an asset for each accounting period on a prorated basis. The syntax for this function is a equal sign a m o r d e g r c open parentheses cost purchase date first period salvage period rate and basis cost is the cost of the asset purchase date is the date that the asset was purchased on first period is the date of the end of the first period salvage is the salvage value after the asset has been fully depreciated period is the period in which to calculate the linear depreciation rate is the rate of depreciation that you're using and lastly is basis basis is optional it is the type of year basis to use when calculating the depreciation if this parameter is omitted then this function automatically assumes that the basis is set to zero. Otherwise, it can be any of these. If, if it's zero, it assumes a basis of 360 days. If it's one, it assumes a basis of the actual amount of days. If it's a three, it assumes a basis of 365 days in a year. And if it's a four, it assumes the basis of 360 days in a year. So now we'll look at an example. So here in Excel we have the cost equals equaling 10,000. Purchase date March 1st, 2012. First period December 31st, 2012. Salvage value of $1,500. Period of one, a rate of 30% and a basis of one. So here we would enter formula and we put B2 B1, B2, B3, B4, B5, B6, and B7. All the way up. That, press enter, and you get 2,813 as your answer. Now this is just one of the many few ways to do it. If needed be, you could also enter the function, and instead of entering the cell numbers, you can go ahead and enter the regular numbers, like so, if needed. Alright, I hope you learned a little something on how to use this function. Thanks for your time.